about in your seats two and a half months ago, okay? And they have achieved success, some big, some, some small success. Um, in general, all of them have a different perspective, okay? So I'm going to ask them how it is. Okay, so let's talk about, um, you know him, right? What's his name? <laughs> Melvin, okay? So Melvin, <laughs> okay, so essentially uh, Melvin was here two and a half months ago and Melvin is an engineer. And he came, um, he loved uh, martial arts, as you know, right? He spoke to he loves martial arts and it was a uh, passion. And he wanted if he could make it a real business, right? So he decided to then launch it. And um, Melvin, can you share with us what's the potential income now? I'm looking at about five to nine thousand dollars a month. Within two and a half months, okay? And this, he took a passion into a real business. Within two and a half months. Right? So he, he came, he had, Melvin has no marketing experience. No marketing experience. Okay? He came, he learned marketing. And have you done advertising? No. Zero no, no. advertising. He's not advertised on Google, but you know, I'm not saying you, you have to, you have to advertise people, okay? <laughs> okay? So Melvin has um, launched a website, got very focused, did marketing very well. He spent zero dollars on advertising and now he's possibly earning um, five to nine thousand every single month, right? Is that impressive? Yes. Very impressive, right? He took a passion, he made it into a business. Plus, he's doing what he's love now, right? And uh, so, can Melvin, can you tell us um, how quickly the inquiries came in for you? I mean, when when did you get the first deal? I think it was a month later, right? First inquiry came in about a month later. That's about that. It was a corporate deal, a corporate deal, and he clinched it um, for a year, a package for a year. You know, so you clinch it for a year, right? So that was his first deal, and most of the deals are corporate. Right? So you should clinch it for at least a year plus. And uh, I think the reason why he, he did very well, because he got very clear on his marketing, and uh, he, he marketed very well, and uh, Melvin, you tweak it very often, right? <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm, I was... I actually tweaked the website about seven times. Seven times. I built it up, scrapped it seven times. And I'm still building it till today. Yeah, is that the correct attitude? Yes. It is the correct attitude, right? When you build something, you have to really be critical with it and then keep fine tuning, improve it, fine tuning, right? So, Melvin, how has um, the inner circle helped you achieve your success? Okay, before I answer this question, I think I want to ask the floor question. Um, <laughs> how many people around here is, do you think, okay, how many of you out there think you're surrounded by people with a lot of negativity? Yes. Oh, Quite a number. Yeah. Well, the rest of you are pretty lucky. Okay. <laughs> I'm surrounded by people who are negative every day. You can't do this, it won't work, whether it be it friends, whether it be it family, whether it be it the person I met on the street like five seconds ago. Everyone's like very negative. So when you're surrounded by negativity, you're not gonna go anywhere. What the inner circle has done for me is to provide me with a support group. Everyone who sees my vision, everyone who shares my enthusiasm, and people who are really, really supportive and just really love to kick your but to keep you going. They keep you accountable for the things that you need to do. So again, if you are like me, a major procrastinator, which of course most of you will not admit to be, <laughs> this would be good for you, right? It provides a support group, keep you going. It gives you much, much more networking opportunities and if, again, people like us who like to claim we have a lot of friends when they're mostly acquaintances, this will also help you to network better, share your dreams, share your ideals, share your business, and help it grow. The silence is deafening. <laughs> no idea to nearly five figures within two and a half months, right? And 
So what has the internal shift occurred for you since these two and a half months? Like you know that? The internal shift, right? You know, what, what has happened since? I mean, you need to change right internally before you hit like five figures, right? You know, where you are and where you're going to be. It's an internal sh shift, right? Okay. Well, personally, I think it's a lot of belief, you know. When you're surrounded by people with negativity, you start believing that you can't do anything. And when you start surrounding yourself with positive people, people who actually believe in you, who, who believe in what you do, that's when you start believing in yourself and that's what's most important. So when you believe in yourself, believe in your product, believe in your service, believe... You just grow. <laughs> okay, and um, how why is, um, what, how is the inner circle different from using business secrets? Tons. Um, how do I say this? Alright, you guys are here attending a three-day course, EBS, Easy Business Secrets. This three-day course will equip you with tools, skills necessary on how to build your business online and offline. Now the difference between EBS and inner circle is that Equipping you with the tools is just step one. To actually make your business grow, you need to apply and use these tools that have been provided to you. Inner Circle has taught me to apply these tools, these techniques, and basically make my business grow at such speed which I never thought was possible for a business to grow. That's to summarize it. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you know, I really get to very touched when I see my students do this. You know, get emotional here. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, so um, okay, so let's have Eric. Eric, um, when he came, um, maybe Eric to share about yourself when you came to Easy Business Secrets and how it's evolved uh, since to now. Hi, uh, my name is Eric. I came to came for Easy Business Secrets. Uh, main purpose is to redo my company's website. So, I mean, the website is more than 10 years. So, anyway, the business is still ongoing, but uh, it's going up and down, following the pattern of the economy. So, I was trying to improve the website, and then, you know, after, after joining, then I realized, um, just a three-day course probably, yeah, put me in a better position than before I before I came for the course, but um, I mean, my, myself, I, I have technical background. Um, so all these technical things is not the difficult part. The difficult part is the marketing part. So when I have a chance to, so when Pam share about the inner circle, so, so I ask her a question, I say, is there any help for marketing idiots? <laughs> because, uh, we, 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 with the engineering background, we, we think from the product point of view. We, we don't understand how customer uh, actually, how humans actually buy, uh, why, why a human make a decision, or how a human make a decision to buy something. So she said, yeah, there's cure for that, so that's why I joined. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I remember the last, uh, we had a, a boot camp, right? And I asked um, people in the class, I say, anyone who, based on what you share, you see your business revenue increasing by 50%, and he raised his hands. Can you share us the revelation what happened? Okay, um, so because being a marketing idiot, right, so sometimes uh, you, you, the, the product or the business is right there in front of you, and every day you pass by, you don't see it. So after going through the, the boot camp, so or probably through the journey from EPS and, and, and the, the monthly meeting and then finally the book camp then finally it was, it was so obvious to me that I think I had to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so, so are you excited by a new business? Uh, yes, <clears throat> I'm, I'm very excited um, because actually it's been it's been a problem that uh, I've been trying to grapple with uh, all these years. Uh, how to how to bring the product to to the target customers. The the industry which I'm in, uh, 
uh, I'm selling customer relationship management systems. So the industry that I'm in, the competitor know that we are the expert, but the problem is the customer don't know we are the expert. So I think now, uh, with this, I think we, we have a, a more than more than eighty percent chance of uh, being an expert in the eyes of the customer rather than just the competitors. Okay. That's great because you need a you need awareness to see the potential because most of us have huge opportunities, but it's just that we cannot see. You recognize because how a uh, you know, a seven figures or eight figures person see a business is different from someone who's new, right? Or sometimes it's say they see product angle, they don't see the customer angle. So sometimes we see new things, right? Do you, does the business evolve completely? It does. Okay, so Eric had an internal uh, shift and he opened and now he's very marketing oriented, I can tell you. Okay, he's very um, markets to the customer and he's completely shifted a huge transition. So uh, Eric, what would you, what advice would you give to people who are uh, you? business owners or people, business owners who want to earn more money, but they're not sure how. I think the, the most important thing is we, we you want to do something like, you know, this kind of uh, internet business or even be your own business owner. Um, probably some of you all even have more grand plans like, you know, to change the world and things like that. So, to, in order to do that, I think we have to surround ourselves with people with the same mentality. So, you all, all know who Steve Jobs is, right? So, Steve Jobs, he had one special ability is the reality field distortion, I think they call it. Meaning, when he sees something, he's the only one who sees it. The rest of the world thinks he's crazy. But, but because his, his distortion is so, so strong that he, he really believes in it. So it's important to join the inner circle so that because all of us have this kind of distortion. <laughs> so we all want to solve the problem. Tibet, um, business is very new, you recognize that? Right? It's a new con it's, it's, it's not exposed to it in Tibet, right? So I'm very lucky that Cancer came and he's from Tibet and he's not um, exposed to marketing. But the good news is Cancer has made sales online already. Okay, Cancer sells um, health supplements and he's made you know several sales online. Um, he he's very aggressive and he really learns a lot, I can really tell you that, you know, he's very committed to learning and he absorbs everything very, very quickly. And um, so, can you share your journey when you started to now? How have how's the transition been for you? Okay. Uh, before I say anything, uh, my English is not really good, so uh, <laughs> I request that everybody make more focus. Uh, before I joined the internet business, actually I like to play video games. This I, I know, but I really don't know how to earn inter uh, on in uh, money on internet. So. Uh, once I joined the internet business, uh, it's like for me, it's like uh, I'll say, uh, see, uh, open a new world and that uh, and new opportunity. Then I, I, uh, and it's like uh, everybody have a dream, right? So I found my dreams. So I just uh, uh, go, uh, how do you say, I capture the dream and I'll go for it. And I just want to say that everybody that. Whatever you want to do in your life, just once you found it, and just go for it. That's uh, that's more important. Then second thing is, uh, when I go in, uh, start do the website. I know what I thought. You need to create websites. You know, you need to pay somebody three, four, five, six thousand. But you need to pay. So once I attend the course, just need to buy simply buy the software and just create a website. Then you. Uh, can start do your online business. Then the uh, third thing is that I can, uh, how do you say, I learn a lot of things on marketing. Uh, actually, I learn a lot, but the so first time on stage, so it was, uh, my mind is not really <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Kenzo, how has uh, marketing helped you to become successful? 
you know, um, and he wasn't sure if we were going to implement it. So how has uh, the Inner Circle helped you gain clarity on your business ideas? Uh, actually, I joined the Inner Circle after this course. I joined another course that's in the Inner Circle. So once I joined the Inner Circle, uh, so I'm not really sure because I don't have any business background and you can say zero la, or online. Then uh, I, uh, once we join the Inner Circle, we have a group camp. So uh, we have a team that you just give your business idea. The team will help you uh, uh, to give you more ideas that how you can expand your business and then um, and it's like uh, open you they show you more opportunities let's say you're on your table you see so many things around there actually all this for example the pen uh, the expo pen it's actually is an opportunity that it's environmental is it yeah it's uh, yeah this all this uh, million dollar business actually is next to you but we actually don't see so inner cycle actually teach me a lot uh, to you know see uh, small small things that around you also opportunities you see different angles or opportunities yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, William and Eleanor, William and Eleanor, they're actually a couple. Okay, they came and they, they both um, joined the initial topic together, and they're a very sweet couple. You know, always during the discussion be like like start talking, you know, like a team, right? <laughs> So William, um, we came to Easy Business Secrets. Um, in fact, we started a, a website for fun, for competition, right? So okay, we got competition. We didn't launch something. So they launched um, in the movers industry, right? Movers industry, and uh, in fact, they were about to give it up, <coughs> right? You were about to give it up, right? And then I gave you like a few tips, then you press it, right? So okay, uh, William, can you tell us what's the progress now for that website? Okay. Uh, hi, hi everyone. Um, okay, when when we joined the EBS, uh, we were told to uh, set up a website for competitions. So we just thought that, yeah, I know how to set up a website, so I just go ahead. Um, we at first we didn't have any idea of it, but through our discussions, brainstorming, we came up with the website within the the, the short period, and we launched it. And surprisingly, actually, I think it's about two weeks later, we got a call from someone with, no advertising. with totally no advertising. So I was totally shocked and uh, uh, surprised also. And uh, just wondering how, how someone can actually find us uh, on the internet. So um, I was procrastinating because uh, we do not have a backbone. We, 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 I don't know how to support my customers at the moment. So eventually, I gave up the call. I think one week later, we got another call again. Again, uh, I was uh, surprised. At this time, I took some effort to actually uh, make some inquiries. But by the way, I'm in the movers in, uh, industry, so if you need any any of my services, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. okay. so, um, yeah. so yeah. Uh, so the second call did not went through. But however, I got another call, third call, and subsequently the fourth call. So from then onwards, I. I, I think that we definitely have to move um, you know, a step ahead and I start make, making a lot of calls, inquiries and um, that's how I got my first deal um, I think about three weeks ago uh, Good news is I got another call um, just a few days ago and I completed the deal also uh, just uh, two days ago So the EBS has actually um, you know, uh, helped us evolve into uh, business owners um, We were like you when we were sitting down there also clueless but now we know where we are heading and we have something in mind and we want to achieve it. Yeah. So William has uh, decided to commit to his dream of being a business owner. He has a plan to launch a business, you know, and this uh, change occurred recently. There's a switch, right? So um, William, can you share with us um, how has business <coughs> helped you commit to your dream of being a business owner? Um, well, um through the inner circle, um, we have a, a regular meet up with other inner circle members. Um, we have, um, is I, I think it's the uh, positive pressure from our other members. Every time when we when we hear their good news, they are doing well in their business. So I think it actually puts a lot of pressure that we, myself and my wife, also have to go on, move on, also start our own business. So so this kind of, this kind of pressure actually helps us a lot. When we join the inner circle, you know. So um, and also, I think um, 
through all those uh, sharing sessions in the inner circle, we are able to brainstorm together with all these members here. So we, we, we can brainstorm new ideas and new concepts. And so Pam has, um, has actually given us a lot of guidance and advice for us to promote our business. Uh, that, yeah. Okay, thank you, Robert. There have been a couple, I call them the power couple, right, in the show, right, because it's a point. Eleanor is um, very hardworking, you know, every time I go there, she's the one, like, doing all the work, really, and when I see beside her sometimes, you know, I see that she's, like, they've advanced to, like, they are very advanced in their website, they do analytics, they do a lot of more advanced strategies, right? So, uh, Eleanor has gotten more ideas to promote your business, right? It's a health holding, right? Yeah, health holding. And uh, so, what made you decide to join Inner Circle? Um, okay, hi everyone. My name is Eleanor. Um, yeah, after attending the EBS and then uh, we heard of this opportunity to join the Inner Circle. Um, it, it, uh, through Inner Circle, actually, it, um, I think it, the, the reason for me to want to join is because, again, like the first speaker has mentioned, uh, it's about networking. Um, I think a lot of times you have heard people say it's about uh, it's not about what you know, it's who you know. But an, a, uh, another way of saying it is not who you know, but who knows you. Because when uh, people know about you, it's easier for them to find you and engage your service. But on the flip side, if you know people, but you do not know what they want, it's harder for you to approach them and sell your service. You know, you're blindly trying to find the right person to sell your service. So it should be who you, uh, who knows you and not who you know. Okay, so this inner circle has, um, uh, is the reason why I want to also join it and then uh, therefore I can get to uh, know more people and for people to know me, uh, maybe to tap on our expertise. Um, I think it's, uh, it's also not just um, about uh, the money that we pay, I think, of course, you might find that the cost is high, but um, in in any free things, uh, I think there is no value in it. Okay, because I have attended other kinds of, um, like you know, uh, training sessions with other types of, um, in other areas of training, and um, sometimes they say that they will give you networking sessions, but actually at the end of the day, it's you among your own team. You go and organize your networking session. But if someone doesn't lead that networking session, then it dies a natural death, you know. So by virtue of joining the inner circle, yes, no doubt you pay for it, but this is value investing. And like what Warren Buffer said, money is what you pay, value is what you get, okay. So when you join this inner circle, you really get value out of it, okay. And well, value is very subjective, okay. But if you really put um, your heart, mind and soul into learning, into networking with people, into, you know, just opening yourself to learn more, you will find that you will improve um, more in terms of your knowledge, your skill sets, your networking experience and all that. Okay, so this is this is why I, I feel that Inner you know, Circle is good for me because it uh, pieces up everything that I've learned into a single package and propels me to move on further in, uh, in starting out a business. Um, any advice to people who want to start a business? Um, what can I do to treat it to for them to uh, succeed? Okay. Um, I personally I do not have any experience or knowledge in starting business. So um, I I think if if you want to to start off a business, it's. Um, continuous learning is important, okay? Because um, I think what we have learned in schools uh, can never help us in in doing businesses. Uh, it's just uh, doing theory learning, studying exam, for example. But when you um, attend such training and inner circle sessions, you actually uh, get a different set of training and um, it helps you to actually uh, create this internal shift in your mindset, your attitude, uh, to want to uh, fulfill your own dreams, right? So um, it's it's uh, 
something that I think sometimes we, we always have this in, inner voice in us that tells us, oh no, we can't do it, we, we are not good for it, um, it's not for me, uh, maybe I should just go back to my own 9 to 5 job. Um, I always have this voice in me, but even though um, I can tell myself, okay, let's, let's cut out this inner voice, but then again, you come back to a point whereby you don't know where to start off, you know, that's where I'm coming from, because uh, for me, I'm in the profession of accounting, and I really know nuts about doing business. So when I think this inner circle has really, again, come back to the power of inner circle, it, it is a starting point for me to, uh, to embark on something that I truly believe in. So um, it's, it's not like just bullshitting, oh, you come here, you will, you, you will definitely be able to be successful. But again, you, you must believe in yourself and you must um, be open to to uh, learning and then uh, learning from the, the success coach right actually shortens your learning curve. This is what I truly believe in it. Rather than you learn from your own mistakes, your own setbacks, which is more costly, why not learn from the successful people who has more vast experience in doing businesses and they will share with you what is uh, right and what is not so right for you. And then from there, you really can have a faster taste of the success fruit in your business. And when, when that sparks off, I think you can uh, feel the momentum because momentum is very critical in business. If you don't have the momentum in doing business, you will lose your steam and heat very fast. And then you will just, okay, let's you know go back to our nine to five job again and case goes. So this is not what I, I would like all of you to see in just coming for a session and then go back, back to your daily lifestyle again. And um, I think now, every day when I wake up, I look forward to, um, to, to achieving my own dreams and goals and instead of leaving other people's dreams. Yeah. Thank you, Rob Thank you. Dino. Dino, um, he's my like, pioneer batch. Pioneer batch, okay? He came and uh, Dino is making money through language, language lessons, and he has about you know, a neat, like a mid, four-figure income through a language uh, portal. He did that, he launched, he earned like a neat, a nice four-figure. He came back as a mentor and um, I launched the Inner Circle quite recently um, with my experience and I launched it and then he decided to join the Inner Circle okay, but despite he was earning four-figure plus, right? So is that okay, should I advise why you decided to join the Inner Circle? Okay. My name is Zainal. Okay, I decided to join Inner Circle because these people are focused, are more committed to succeed in their business. Okay, and I'm looking to collaborate with business people or more business venture. For instance, I collaborated with Ken C for rec uh, recruitment business. Collaborated with Eric for to integrate his CRM system into my current business, language business. And I also got a business partner for my consultancy through Inner Circle. So I'm looking for committed people to collaborate with and I'm also looking for new business ventures. Yeah, so it's just, essentially she was looking for opportunities yeah, because I mean you need people who are committed, right? I mean if you collaborate with someone, you want someone who's you know, half past six, not sure, right? You want someone who's committed. So people who are Inner Circle, are they committed? They are committed. Okay, so how has Inner Circle helped you bring your to the next level since you joined the group? Okay, uh, Pam is uh, keeping track of all our progresses in the business. <laughs> so whenever a business takes uh, the progress, there's no progress, then uh, she will ask uh, why is it so. And uh, as a, I also have to take account of my fellow members. They also push me, push each other, so progress. And we, when we see other, on the other members in our inner circle progress, we are motivated by their progress or we want to be, we don't want to be laid back, we want to follow up, something like that. Thank you, Ramon. <laughs> most of them were here two and a half months ago, right? and they achieved these results, yes? And Zaina was here. Can you give us
Okay, good. So, um, what